right, everybody. So as an avid C70 owner, which I'm shooting on right now, and a Final Cut Pro 10 user that I've been using for a couple of years, I wanna switch over to DaVinci Resolve because of the better audio tools and the better color grading experience and the better tools in DaVinci Resolve. My biggest problem with DaVinci Resolve is the slow, laggy clips and the video editing experience because the clips are just so slow and, you know, staggery and laggy. And the other thing I don't want to do is I don't want to create optimized files or proxy clips because in DaVinci Resolve, it takes forever. So how can we solve this dilemma? Actually, pretty easy. The C70. Let's get into it. All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. So as I said in my intro, how can the C70 possibly help us speed up DaVinci Resolve and prevent us from doing optimized files and proxy media to waste time? Well, it's easy. Let's let the C70 do the regular, you know, 10-bit 4K DCI files in slot A, and let's let it create the proxy files in slot B. So that way we get the best of both worlds. We get to go over to DaVinci Resolve and the C70 makes the, you know, the regular clips or the primary clips and the proxy clips at the same time, thereby saving us time. So let's see what's going on. All right, everybody. So we're over here on the C70, but there's a few things I wanted to show you on the menu. So the first thing we can do is you can go over here to the recording and media setup. And right now I have it on main, which is slot A. So it's doing the 4K DCI. And then they have the proxy recording on slot B. Now there are other options that I can't do since I'm recording right now for proxy media. Now you can go up here and do what's called a sub format or a sub recording format and select what you want the proxy to be, whether it be 2K or 1080p, um, whether it be long op, you know, anything that you can think of, or you can let the C70 actually pick the best, the best proxy format for the C70. And we'll go through all that stuff, and, and I'll show you in the manual what it says it'll do for proxy clips and what it will say for the sub-record format are the sub record menu where you can select the actual recording format that you want to do for your proxies. So just a quick little tour here of the C70 menu and how to either set up proxies or sub recording formats. So let's go ahead and get back to our shots. All right, everybody. So the thing I wanted to show you real quick is this is straight from the C70 manual. I wanted to show you if you don't do the proxy for your slot B and you do the sub recording clips here. You can select what you want to set up for your proxies. You can set up your resolution. You can set up your bit rate. You can set up your recording format. You can basically set up what you want. I'm only showing you part of the chart here because I'm more interested in the 4k recordings. So if you want to select, for instance, your proxies to be 2k and you want them to be, a certain long op or interfame or you know whatever is works best for you in your workflow you can select the sub recording format in the c70 all right everybody so here we are on the proxy clips and since i'm recording at 4k dci which is 4096 by 2160 it's going to pick the recording format for me of 8-bit and 2K and either 35 long op or 24 long op or, you know, anything down that line, what it thinks is best. So most likely it's probably going to pick 2K, the 24 megabit long op, because you can tell from the chart, I'm shooting at 23.98, you go straight across. And that's basically what your, your proxy is going to be. So that's what it's going to be in my case, 2K. 24 megabits per second, and long op. All right, everybody. So here we are in DaVinci Resolve. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my files. 
and drag them in. They're in this folder and shot three. Now, if you notice, I got my primary clip and the way Canon does it or the C70, it puts a P on it for proxy. And then this is my audio file I want to use for my Mix Pre 3. So let me go ahead and select my primary clip. Hold down the command key and select my audio clip from my Mix Pre 3 and just drag and drop them. And of course, we want to change it to the right frame rate. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to audio link these files by right clicking auto sync audio based on waveform. Okay, and you can tell right here that it worked. And the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to right click on the primary clip and just say link proxy media. Now I'm going to go back to my original source folder and you hit the one with the underscore P, hit open. And if you notice, it found it. So there's my proxy clip and of the C70, did it at 2K. And we're all set. So if I come over here to my edit page and drag the clip in, it came in with my Mix Pre 3 file. And we want to go up here to playback and make sure proxy media, our optimized media is checked depending on your circumstance, minus proxy media, but I always select them both. We also want to make sure that we're going to do a 4K DCI timeline. And that's only plain in one. So we want to come over and right click on this. Say track to mono. Or we can come over here to clip attributes. And instead of serial, we want to make sure this is mono for now. We can switch it to stereo later. But that way it plays in both my ears. All right, so we have our audio selected and it's at mono. And now we can go ahead and play this. Color grading experience and the better tools in DaVinci Resolve. So as you can see, it's playing just fine. I can skip around, no problem, no lag. And that's the benefit of generating the proxies from your C70 instead of having DaVinci do it. And I got to right click and wait forever, even on a small 4K DCI file like this. So let's go ahead and get out of this. All right, everybody. So what do you think? Personally, for me and my workflow, having the C70 do primary clips and proxy clips is a lifesaver. And I definitely have been using DaVinci Resolve because of this. Now, depending on your workflow, this may or may not work for you. But for me, it's just fantastic. I can't say enough about it. It saves time. I get the better audio tools. I get the better color grading tools. You know, what more could you ask for? And if I want to use Final Cut Pro to do things in a hurry, I can. But if I want to do a better, more professional job, I can do DaVinci Resolve and use its better tools. So hopefully this video kind of helped you, or at least gave you some thoughts, or at least was entertaining. So I just wanted to say thank you, everybody, for watching and for listening. I greatly appreciate it. Have a great day or night, everybody. Happy shooting. Thank you.